today I want to clear the cloud you have about remote controls and keyboards what this video is good for you own a TV box like Android TV box you own a fire stick you own a via shield PC Mac Linux anything that requires a portable keyboard anything that requires a Bluetooth device anything that requires a not a Bluetooth device today we're gonna be going over all these keyboards that will help you to clean your mind and you know next time you do shopping what type of keyboard you need right now how are we doing everyone once again this is Dario from media box cnt blockchain and let's talk about keyboards and remotes now what is good for like i said android tv boxes smart tv mba shield mac pc anything that has a 2.0 usb port a raspberry pi anything i will show you that now if your device has a bluetooth device we're going to talk about this now first thing i want to cover Android TV boxes. I always have comments. People come to me and say, Dario, my remote control no longer work. My original remote, remote sucks. I can only point one way. It just uh, don't work anymore. What I'm going to do? Can I buy the original remote control? Guys, do not buy the remote control original. Those things sucks a million times. This way is uh, 10,000 times or whatever. Better than anything else you can buy. So do not get your original remote control for any of these android device now you have a smart tv has a usb port we're going to talk about that now you have an nba shield we're going to fix that problem so now anything that is usb usb 2.0 this type of keyboards it will work across the board it means it will work for your pc it will work for your mac it will work for uh, via shield for your android tv boxes it works for everything so that's one thing you need to get clear these keyboards they are 2.4 gigahertz USB. It will work here. And don't require any drivers. They don't require any control. They don't require anything special. You plug it in, it works. And I will give you a sample right now. So, to show you this demo, I have a TV box. This is a Pro X2. Uh, it runs uh, Android 6.0. Pretty old, but works fine. Because why am I using Android? Because Android kind of maybe make it a little harder to think it will work there. We know if you plug in a PC, it will definitely work. So let's go over some of the keyboards. So right now, what I want to cover first, all the USB versions 2.0, not a Bluetooth version. So I put the dango. So imagine we plug it in, whatever, in your PC and uh, whatever it will be. So this is a nice one. Uh, it has a lighting. You can change lighting. You can change color of the lighting. It's rechargeable. Uh, what was the charge thing? Here, so you can charge with your phone, you can charge it for, I mean, or your PC, comes with the cable and everything. It has the batteries, and here comes with the dongle, there's battery there, but it's rechargeable. On and off, it's on automatic, so it should be there running already. And I will leave you all the links in the same order I'm showing now. So this one, right away, let's look at the screen, pay attention, I know it's a small, let me turn it off and on so it resets itself. Press escape key. That's it. It took a while to start. Now you see, look, if I go and move, it moves fun. It moves perfect. We want to use the mouse. Mouse, look there. I want to move, I press two times. That's it. Imagine you have a window same way. And if you have left and right mouse, we can control the volume. See, we can control the volume of this. So we'll do the same thing in any TV boxes and you can be a shield in your windows now they have a lot of keys for windows we can change the speed in this one for the mouse so it's a cool solution they will work everywhere anywhere rechargeable it's feel good big and you have a big lawn if you have a big screen you have a long uh, pad to run your mouse and it works right away so i didn't do anything special if you see that now let's move to another one I guess this one is the most famous one the rii a plus 
this feels real good usb version they are different colors okay it feel good it has these things here so feel nice to grab now with this again you can travel this basic skip key and we can travel around see if we want to go in the streaming i press the ok key goes there escape key i can change the volume control again this one has a lot of key for your window so we work for your window for your via shield you have the whole you want to turn the light on you control the light on left mouse right mouse and then give you some of the you can use one you know left once twice you can use this if you want and then they have a lot of search home explorer and this mostly when you run into a windows machine uh you can change also the speed here there's a lot of things eh? we have all if we have f12 all the way to f12 nice solution rechargeable usb 2.0 or 3.0 i mean i say 2.0 because it will work everywhere now the next one i say this is the chip version it's a lot of people and i think i bought this one for my raspberry pi a lot of people use this for the raspberry pi again this one works anywhere you see here and again will be the same way if i press there and move skip key skip key if i want to move around i gotta press this decide type in the keys same way rechargeable uh, right there i had this for a long time this one was perfect and here there's some nice things to go when you finish you can just okay, you can lose these things and while you lose it just forget about it just go and buy a new one that's it you can uh, put it backwards you can just put it here And that's another solution for NVIDIA Shield and ETV boxes. Like I said before, your Mac, your PC, your Linux machine, your Raspberry Pi. Any of this remote control will work for the Raspberry Pi, by the way. So, we keep going with more USB. Now, another USB. These are called the L-Mouse. Now, remote control look like volume. I can, let me turn this. I can move up and down let's see well i can turn on my mouse what's this mouse i go mouse press the empty key and that's it you want to go home press home the only thing if you're going to use the mouse in this so i tend always to turn it off if not you're going crazy now you need type boom you go this side now it's a full keyboard again this will work everywhere any os you'll be running okay so and it's smart tv too you gotta make sure your smart tv is compatible to run uh, uh, a usb device but all the new tvs now it has all it has usb device so you plug it in and it should detect it at least if it have no mouse my ceiling is falling and if you have no mouse then this one will work uh perfect this is a one device and then we have one more usb is a dango this one comes with the uh, Provo x2 but you can buy separate it's more like a gaming feel like now this is a remote control now full remote control i have no keys here but it's more gaming look like see let's go home the way it feels this and if you press the center key why this because here you turn it this way now and if you play this game you can move this it's a racing game you go like this and left to right because this is a mouse and this is here you got a key v key x and y for the gaming now be careful because not all the games are compatible so you have to make sure the game is compatible to work with this type of remote control if not you're going to hit the, you will have to map yourself uh, the the remote if i want to turn on my um mouse turn the mouse and then here it has like a gaming thing on it. if you want to turn on it see it looks same thing i go there when i go here let me go back home i don't want to execute an application i go there i press the ok key streaming and that's it volume again volume up mute some way return key this is another solution and this is a remote plus a gaming type of thing oh and the extra one it has mic 
All right. So if the device you're using is compatible, you should be able to talk or record or say, hey, Google. So, and this one, it has a mic included. So with this, we covered all the USB versions. So it means it will work across the board and any device you need a portable keyboard. So now let's move on to the Bluetooth devices. Now, again, this is red because it's red, just for me to I know the difference. So this is a Bluetooth device. I press one key and comes on. So now with this, uh, it's nice because it will work in any PC or any Mac that has a Bluetooth. You can be a shield. Guarantee works is I use it in my NVIDIA Shield. But what is nice too, it comes with all dangle. Comes here, it comes with the adapter. Now, USB adapter. Now, this is good only for your PC and your Mac. If your PC don't have a Bluetooth device, now you adapt this, it will install the drivers, and then now, you will be using this as a Bluetooth device. Do not try to use one of this and try to plug this in any Android device. It will not work because there's no drivers for it. So it will not work. I do it right now. Do not go that way. Just go the other way around. Now, this one in particular, a lot of people complain they do not work in some of the devices. So this one, I tried to sync into my Provo and it will find it, but will not do anything. Not sure. And they have to do with the operating system, there's version 6. I do not have a 7.1 to try. I'm talking about these type of boxes. Passive with a 7.1 will work. I'm not sure. I can guarantee this works. This works on NVIDIA Shield. It will work in any PC or Mac. If your PC or Mac don't have any Bluetooth device, this one have the dangle. Only for your PC Mac. Uh, Linux, I didn't try it. Maybe that will work if these drivers are available. So this is a good solution. Again, it feels good. And that's what I use for my Bluetooth devices around home. And also for the Fire Stick, and we're going to move that in a minute. My next one is this. This is a 301 Air Mouse. This one you can use for your TV. This is good for your Fire Stick, but we're going to try this for this box. And you should see already, I think if I sync it. Yes. So now I activate the mouse. So you see here is is a mouse. This is a Bluetooth device. There is no adapter or anything. I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna move with the key. See? Now it also has a light. It will be hard to see because a lot of lighting. This will light up. The center light up is like yellow. And the keys will light up too. And also it will learn keyboard. So I mean remote control. So you can turn off on and off your TV. You have your remote control, you follow the step, you learn it. So now you can use this for your TV and at the same time use it for UMBA Shield or your Fire Stick. This will work for UMBA Shield. Now you need typing, you turn it over, and now you got a full keyboard. Again, full keyboard here in some shortcut uh, www.com. If you press it one, you don't want to do the whole thing. So you got a full keyboard. It's working fine in this box, in this particular box. It will work good in UMBA Shield or any Bluetooth device. So now, let's switch over to the Fire Stick. One second. So we are in my Fire Stick. I'm gonna grab my Bluetooth already synchronized. Press the skip key. See, let me see. Okay, now, oh, uh, language, okay. So I travel. See, I travel fine with the skis going down. I can go down. I can do search, escape key. Home. You press OK and it will execute the application. So there's a full keyboard. It will work perfect. This is actually the old one. This is a Fire Stick 1. So beyond that, will work for any other Fire Stick 2, the Fire Stick box. So this is a good, a good alternative for your Fire Stick. Now, Let's sync this. Now, to sync this device, you always need your original. Nothing with the original, right? So, let me see if it's there. I oh, know because I used the box, so I... So, let's sync it for a second. 
this case we got to do gaming gaming controller so let me uh, erase this TV okay press for five seconds and okay so gaming control yes let's say find it now all the remote controls okay because you can put all the devices will not work so it did it's offline not yet ah, it's not connected yes let's see let's press home yes home key return key and again we can travel with no problem this one gives you some extra tips if you go one of the application you press this key it will give you information on the application skip key and again if you want to be typing you can type and if you see i travel perfect on the five stick all right so now to close this video let me show you my best best one the one that's a cheap solution it works anywhere everywhere mouse and keyboard so for that i switch back now for mouse and keyboard there is a trick into it mouse and keyboard is good for me because i'm making a video oh we start again here i guess i press something to start again okay see now mouse and keyboard works perfect we know the mouse and keyboard will work any any anywhere any okay so this is the keyboard pretty cheap battery less a million years now you can travel fast i got people ask me how i can move the mouse so fast when they see my videos and that's the trick so you go here press press your left right go back so you travel fast see travel fast anywhere you want it now this is good if you are in a disposition you are uh maybe in a desk but when you are in a sofa and a tv you really need one of this doesn't give you you know you need something to be comfortable you just sit in the tv and now you can press but if you have maybe a table or something this will be to go so if the setup is like a desk type or like a standing up with the table then keyboard and mouse it will beat everything else you see in the table but if you want to be in the sofa then that's the way to go so with this we conclude the video i think and now you are much clear you know what to choose you know at least up there so before you buy you know how the whole thing works each one will give a different feeling and i think i covered everything in this video now if you're interested in any of this product like always all the information and all the links as went to the video will be in the same order and that will be it so if you got any questions or any comments always you can leave underneath the video thank you